in today's video, I am going to talk about how to manifest a new reality with your specific person where they absolutely love you, adore you, think you are the most incredible person they have ever met, where they cherish you and respect you, prioritize you, desire you, choose you and want you. Before I go into that, hi everybody, I am Natalie and welcome to my channel. This is As The Pennies Drop and if you are new here, please click the subscribe button to this channel because I am here to guide you all to creating a life that you love, deserve and desire. So if you want to find out more about me or my coaching solutions that I offer, you can just click the links below in the description box and that will take you to my website and all my coaching services. Or you can simply email me at natalie at asthepennysdrop.com. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's get back into this video and talk about your specific person falling in love with you for the first time or again. What I am going to share with you is absolutely going to transform how you manifest to get the love from your specific person that you desire. It is really going to help you. And if you can apply this and remain faithful to what it is that I'm going to share and put this into practice, you will experience what you are currently desiring. Like I said, if you can practice what I'm going to share with you today, you will shift your mindset to create the reality where your specific person shows up loving you and cherishing you, desiring you, choosing you, never wanting to let you go. Whatever you want, you can have this. This works when we understand that it is all about our mindset and what it is we are doing with our mind. What happens and why people sometimes tend to give up on their manifestation are specifically when it comes to their specific person or getting their ex back is that we're looking out there, our outer reality for evidence that what it is we are wanting to manifest is true and wanting validation from our outer reality. You see, we're looking out there for the evidence when we are able to understand that it it doesn't come from out there. It comes from consciously manifesting and it all starts within us. The 3D reality will not prove what you are wanting to manifest until you have fully aligned to what it is you are wanting to manifest within you, within inside of you. When you have created inside of you the desire to be the most dominant assumptions from your thoughts and your feelings and the beliefs that you hold within you, this will then harden into fat and you will then see the evidence of this working in your outer reality the only thing you need to do and to think about is how you are feeling internally about the desire that is where you look for the validation and that is all that it is all working out for you based on how you feel what your thoughts and what your dominant beliefs are so the only sign is how you feel think and believe about your desire that's what you want to be thinking about when you feel certain in the knowing that what you are desiring based on how you are thinking, how you are feeling and what these beliefs are, that you have that unshakable faith that it is done, it is yours, that is the living in the end of the outcome of what you are wanting to manifest, you see, and this is a shift your mindset will then experience in your reality. So when you are thinking of your specific person and being in that loving relationship that you are desiring to have, being chosen by them, being loved, being cherished, being adored and wanted and desired, all by your specific person. When you think this, and this is your dominant belief, because you are simply thinking from having the desire and with faith in this, it will manifest. You see, if we are focused on the wanting of it, what we're saying here is that we don't have it. Do you notice the difference? When we are in the place of thinking in the state of the desire already being yours, that is the outcome you are then going to experience. But if you are thinking of a desire that is not having the desire and that is not living in the end of the outcome, you see, that's from a want or needing perspective. This will be what keeps manifesting, the wanting of it, therefore not ever having it. So when we are thinking of wanting the desire, we are simply telling ourselves that we don't have it. And as I said, that will be what your dominant thought will be. And therefore will be what is manifested. Think about this. Maybe there is a pair of shoes. Maybe there's a pair of shoes that you, you want to purchase. The one of the shoes means you don't have them. They're still in the shop. But if you think of the pair of shoes 
as already yours by feeling like they're already yours, then they are yours. Then you will manifest having them. When you make sure that your thoughts, your feelings, and your beliefs, what you tell yourself, those inner conversations, that they all match to the desired outcome of what you're wanting to experience, the new reality you are manifesting, that is when you know 100% that it is that it has no choice but to manifest into your reality. This is the law of assumption. This is the law of, this, of assumption. I can't say it. This is the law of assumption. And what you truly believe your dominant assumptions are will manifest. But it's all a choice. And I understand that. You have the choice. But what is it you are wanting to experience? This new incredible reality with your specific person loving you, choosing you, desiring you wanting you seeing you as the most incredible person or the old reality where they are not with you and that what you want is impossible whatever your choice is you are simply feeding your mind with either the wanted experience with those thoughts or the unwanted thoughts about this your choice is your responsibility you are the only one that can choose the reality that you are wanting you can choose the new one or the old one, the choice is yours. Do you want to experience this incredible reality or hold yourself back in fear that you won't get what it is that you are wanting? You know, I speak a lot about this in my videos, but it is true. When we are consciously wanting to manifest a specific person loving us, you know, or having more money or anything, it is being disciplined to the desired outcome applying it and practicing it it's about the practice and being persistent diligent and consistent with faith to the desire if this is the reality that you are wanting to experience one of love with your specific person or to experience a reality of more abundance in your life and you have made that decision then this is what you must remain faithful to no matter what is showing up in your outer reality when you take your power back the power of your mind and you put yourself first prioritizing what it is that you are wanting to experience in your life knowing that this is all about you and the choice you have chosen to commit to you cannot give anything external from from you any power to determine whether this will work out or not, or whether you will be successful or not, you see, because you are the only one in control of this and only you hold the power of what it is that you are desiring. And it all comes from you. It is all within you. All of this comes down to you and what you are choosing to experience. So there is no need anymore to look out there, the 3D reality, because what is going on out there currently is just based on what you have been assuming it to be. It's not real. It is all out there as it is right now because you have created it to be your dominant belief. That is all. Nothing outside of you is there to hold you back. Circumstances don't matter. It is all about you, what you think, what you feel, and what you dominantly believe is important to you. So if you have put resistance to the desire based on what the 3D reality is currently reflecting back to you, then this is what is going to make it difficult for you to manifest the desire. You again can choose whether you want to make this easy or difficult for yourself by either accepting what you see in the 3D reality or by putting all of your focus within and what you desire to experience. It is only as easy or as difficult as you want it to be. No matter what you are wanting to manifest, it doesn't change. It all comes from within. And it's all about remaining faithful to what you are desiring to experience. So the question is, are you willing to go all in to stay true to what it is that you really want, that what you are really wanting to manifest by doing the work, by applying this and practicing and being diligent with it, to, as I say, remaining consistent to the desired outcome of your specific person loving you for the first time? or again, or being or doing or having whatever it is that you are desiring to manifest? Are you ready to remain faithful to create this incredible reality where you experience this because you deserve what you desire? If you are not, then you know that is okay. As I said, you have the choice. But know this, no one outside of you can do this for you. The power is within you. 
You all have the power to do this if you choose to. You are the number one in your life. And as I said, it's you that holds the power and you get to choose a reality that you desire to experience. So you showing up focusing on what it is that you are desiring, you loving yourself, seeing yourself as worthy of this, putting what you desire to experience for you as your priority. Believe in your power and nothing will go wrong and it will work out how you want it to. It will. It's about remaining faithful and applying what it is that you want persistently, consistently in your mind. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you like this video, please click the like button, um, share if you feel like it will help somebody that's currently struggling with this and also comment because I love uh, being able to respond to your comments as much as I possibly can. And like I said, just give this faith. It is all possible. Just remain faithful to what it is that you want and you will be able to create the life that you truly, truly desire. Much love to you all guys. Take care. I'll be back soon.